Today's obituaries are brought to you by Moss Service and Hansville Funeral Home. Funeral services for Deborah Faye Henderson Spiegel, age 60, of Cullman, will be at 2 p.m. tomorrow at Hansville Funeral Home Chapel. Andy Coffey officiating burial in Brushy Creek Cemetery. Hansville Funeral Home is directing. Miss Spiegel passed away Tuesday at UAB Medical Center in Birmingham. Graveside Funeral Services for Charlotte Regenia Allen, age 64, of Cullman, will be at 11 a.m. tomorrow at Cullman City Cemetery. The Reverend Stanley Dye officiates. Cullman Funeral Home is assisting. Graveside Services for Carol D. Young, age 78, of Holly Pond, were at 2 p.m. Tuesday at Holly Pond Cemetery. Holly Pond Funeral Home assisted those and Ms. Young passed away on Sunday at her residence. A funeral mass for Mary Young Adams, age, 60, age 81 of Cullman, will be at 10 a.m. tomorrow at Sacred Heart Catholic Church. The Reverend Patrick Egan officiating burial in the church cemetery. Moss service is directing. Ms. Adams passed away on Monday. Visitation will be 6 to 9 p.m. tonight at the church, a rosary at 7.30 p.m. And those were our obituaries for today, brought to you by Moss Service and Hansville Funeral Home. presents today on two we are on charter cable we are on the internet channel 2 coleman.com and you can follow us on twitter on facebook and you can watch the episodes anytime you want to on youtube does everything stay on youtube forever until you take it down or until youtube gets you for like copyright infringement wow. or something like that otherwise, I, think, I don't know otherwise it's always there yeah you mm -hmm. can't get stuff off the internet wow it's there. Now I'm getting scared. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> okay, let's see. Let's start with the weather for today. We didn't blow away. I don't think we had any major storm activity, but uh, we'll talk about the weather here. Brought to you by Mitch Smith Chevrolet. Here's the weather almanac for the 15th of May in Coleman, Alabama. The average high is 83. The average low is 61. The record high, 95 in 1941. The record low, 43 in 1933. Sunset will be at 747, sunrise tomorrow morning at 540. There's the satellite picture. You can see what went through our area yesterday. It looks like storm activity in Georgia moving into South Carolina and then heading up the east coast. There's one more satellite picture. And here's our forecast for today. We should see some clearing later on today with a high temperature about 20 degrees below normal. It's high of 64 today. For tonight, partly cloudy, a low around 43. For tomorrow, sunny, breezy, not warming up very much tomorrow. 67 for the high, Saturday 69, Sunday 72, on Monday and the first of next week we'll get back into more normal temperatures. 78 on Monday and in the 80s on Tuesday and Wednesday. And so anyway, some comfortable days yeah. and maybe not uh, much more rain activity. Well, let's see, Tahani is going to be on the road next week mm -hmm. with a bunch of your favorite people. Yeah. What are you doing and where are you going? I am going to Pigeon Forge. I'm t uh, the vocalist for the Wallace State Jazz Band this semester. And so we're touring to Pigeon Forge. And we've got, I think, three performances scheduled up there, which I just I just found out that I was on this tour last minute. So I have no idea where we're performing or what time or anything like that. But we are going to be at Pigeon, in Pigeon Forge in the Gatlinburg area. So... It, I'm, I'm looking forward to it. I think it'll be a lot of fun. Okay. Get to know some of the, some are, of the jazz are, band people. What are some of the songs you sing with the jazz band? The songs I sing are It's Only a Paper Moon and Orange Colored Sky. Those, okay. are, those are my two. Unless he throws another one at me right before we leave, which, you know, I guess I'm, I'm used to that. So okay. th that would be fine. But. <laughs> All right. Well, good. That's exciting. Good to hear that uh, 
Wallace Jazz Band and vocalists mm -hmm. will be going out of state, entertaining yeah. people. And of course, there's someone that we all know very well lives yes. in that area. Yes, well. I'm so excited. Um, I think she's going to have a couple of days off when we're um, when we're up there, so we'll get to see Paige and hang out with her and catch up because I miss her a lot. So okay, I'm ready to go see her. Yeah, that'll be. Maybe they'll sneak her in and she'll sing a song with Maybe. That would be great. I mean, she can have it as far as I'm right. concerned. <laughs> okay, let's see. Um, we have been doing political forums every other day. And we now have another candidate forum scheduled for tomorrow, which will be as part of Today on 2. And this will be the candidates for Coleman County Sheriff. Next week, we will get into the uh, legislative candidates on Monday, state representatives for District 12 on Tuesday, representatives for District 9, and then a week from Friday will be the state Senate candidates. So anyway, tomorrow, candidates for Coleman County okay. Sheriff. Facebook friend, who's our friend today? Um, it looks like Tasha Frederick is our Facebook friend, and she likes Allsteak and Duck Dynasty, so thank you for being our Facebook friend, Tasha. And we're going to give you that large barbecue sandwich from Mad Dog Mike's Famous Barbecue. Just come back here and pick up your certificate before you head out that way. Okay, okay. who's our guest segment today? Ann Mullins is going to be our, um, our interview today. She was kind enough to come in and chat with us a little bit. So. That's right. Ann well. Mullins from the Better Business Bureau. George Spear is here with news and commentary right after this. driving. Add vanishing deductible from Nationwide Insurance and get $100 off every year of safe driving, which means you could save a lot of Benjamins. We put members first because we don't have shareholders. Join the nation. Nationwide is on your side. One of the most frequently asked questions I receive out on the campaign trail is, why do you want to be the sheriff of Coleman County? Coleman County is my home. It's where I was born and raised, and it's where my wife Susie and I will raise our two boys. And there's nothing more important to me than my Lord and Savior, my family, and my home. And I would like to ask for your vote on June 3rd in the 2014 Republican primary election. years ago, you voted for a change and sent conservatives like Mac Buttram to the Alabama House of Representatives. Thanks to conservative leaders like Mac Buttram, Coleman County has gone from record unemployment to one of the lowest in the state. New industries are locating in Alabama. Mac Buttram sponsored legislation that would ensure our workforce is prepared for the jobs of tomorrow. Conservatives like Mac Buttram have just started. The brightest days are yet to come. <clears throat> time for news and commentary. It's a Thursday morning. Looking at the morning, Coleman Times. They're reporting that a mistrial has been declared in an attempted murder case in Coleman County. According to the Coleman Times, an attempted murder case against a Coleman man that was declared a mistrial in Circuit Court Tuesday of this week under Judge Martha Williams for what court officials have called a matter of mishandled evidence. According to the sworn testimony, a sworn affidavit of Coleman County Sheriff's Deputy Justin Bates, according to him, 48-year-old Terry Lynn Turney of Crane Hill was charged last June of last year with first degree of domestic violence, domestic violence menacing, domestic violence reckless endangerment, 
uh, discharging a gun inside an occupied building and two attempted murder charges at his girlfriend's residence uh, where she lived. So mishandled evidence. There's been rumblings that there was a disagreement, have been some disagreements between the sheriff and the district attorney regarding evidence not properly ready to go when cases come around. And apparently that's one of the things that's happened here with the district attorney. They don't have all the things in place to go ahead and proceed this, so they call it a mistrial. I don't know. One of those things you just, a lot of things go on, go on behind the scenes and you wonder about. I don't know about you, but I like Casey Kasem. I'd listen to American Top 40, but he's everywhere, isn't he? And for him to be so far out of it, bless his heart, he's got, he's suffering from complications of dementia, something called Lewy disease, a complication of dementia. Anyway, <laughs> of course, there's a lot, of me, a lot of money, I'm sure, in his estate. And when he passes away, there's going to be some folks who will get a lot of money. So who, where was he? Some folks said he was out of the country. <laughs> Who's hiding him, in other words? Well, I don't know. I got to thinking about it. I thought, you know, when I have seen pictures of Casey Casey, I've always wondered what, what kind of, uh, uh, was he born outside of America? You know, what nationality? What, what's his race and all? Apparently, I guess he grew up uh, somewhere in, uh, where was it here? In uh, uh, a Lebanese-American household in Detroit, Michigan. Detroit. And I got to thinking about, I got to thinking about some of the other people that were celebrities, and I would oftentimes wonder where they were from. I always thought that the Cisco Kid, Duncan Ronaldo was his real name, the Cisco Kid I thought was Mexican. But no, <laughs> he wasn't Mexican. He was supposedly born in Romania. He was an, he was an orphan. And he comes to America aboard a, 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 a steamship as a hand working. He, they land at Baltimore. The kit, ship catches fire in 1922. Imagine a Cisco kid having to jump from a fire. Anyway, nonetheless, whenever he got on uh, on land, he started working. He had no papers, had nothing. They wanted to, the authorities wanted to deport him, but he got himself busily involved, you know, working hard, and worked his way into Hollywood. Whenever they wanted to really push the issue, Franklin Delano Roosevelt's wife, uh, what was her name? Eleanor stepped in for the Cisco kid and made him legal, you know. So they, they made it happen. She liked him in some of the movies he was playing in. And I was looking at a story about uh, some of the, the the cowboys when I was a kid, and many of you remember things like Roy, Roy Rogers, of course, you know, and Lone Ranger. And they all said, and I never really thought about this, they all said, well, we didn't kill anybody. We just shot it out of their hands. Talking about the gun or the, the knife or whatever. And... It, so that leads up to this next story, which happens in Decatur this week. Early one morning this week, a Decatur resident, his motion detector goes off in his, uh, in his garage next door. And here are some juveniles standing next to his truck. So he takes and gets his gun. He doesn't know what they're up to. And shoots. They start running. Hits one of them in the butt. A juvenile. <laughs> So what happens? Authorities in Decatur have arrested him for second-degree assault. <laughs> now think about this. The legislature has made it lawful for you to carry a weapon to any place, basically, you know, on your hip, as long as it's not the, the, the business doesn't forbid, uh, forbid it. And, of course, you, whenever you travel, you have to have the weapon and the ammunition in different places, uh, you know, out of reach for the driver. But it just bring comes to um, it comes to the point that you wonder. Well, I could see how it very easily you could get into trouble, stand your ground kind of thing, you know. So you got to be careful. If they start to run, you can't shoot them. In other words, now after they've broken in and done something, and they still want to turn and run, you still can't shoot them. It makes you wonder. Doesn't it? You have to be threatened with uh, physical force, violence, before you can shoot. I don't know. The law's kind of sketchy, it seems like to me. Stay tuned. More of today on two after this. I will rebuild the relationships with local city, county, and governmental agencies in which we all have the same mindset that we are working together for the betterment of our community in that one single direction for every citizen of Coleman County. My office will be held accountable from the top down. I will be held accountable first. And as your sheriff, I will lead the sheriff's office with conviction, pledging to return the office of sheriff back to the people.
At Premier Bank, we are very proud of the long-lasting relationships we have with our customers. We'll go almost anywhere to meet your banking needs. Overwhelmed by home refinancing offers from telephone solicitors and direct mail advertising and then find you're not qualified for a specific plan? The Mortgage Center, a hometown lender, compares the rates from all home loan lenders and the qualifications of the various government programs to find a plan best suited to you. The Mortgage Center helps Coleman County people purchase and refinance their homes. This is Pat Moody. Call us today and let us tailor a loan program to your specific needs and requirements. Meet the KitchenAid 36-inch induction cooktop. It might just change the way you cook. Induction technology heats the pan and not the cooking surface to offer you a new level of precision, speed, and energy efficiency. Nine settings give you different levels of heat to achieve precise temperatures and amazing responsiveness. Water boils in just seconds, making this the fastest to boil induction cooktop available. The KitchenAid 36-inch induction cooktop. Four years ago, you voted for a change and sent conservatives like Mac Buttram to the Alabama House of Representatives. Thanks to conservative leaders like Mac Buttram, Coleman County has gone from record unemployment to one of the lowest in the state. New industries are locating in Alabama. Mac Buttram sponsored legislation that would ensure our workforce is prepared for the jobs of tomorrow. Conservatives like Mac Buttram have just started. The brightest days are yet to come. We continue with more of Today on 2. Hey, prizes to give away. Let's see what we have. Matter of fact, okay, we have Mad Dog Mike's uh, famous barbecue, the family barbecue pack, and I was going to say brought back by popular demand. Nope, that's not it yet. Here by Loretta, free haircut from Loretta. Is there one more? There we go. <laughs> Brought back by popular demand. The day pass to the Wellness and Aquatic Center. Wow, three Hello. good prizes it's for today. Today, hope you're a watching. Free haircut, uh, barbecue, mm -hmm. and then you can go work off the barbecue oh, at go. the Wellness and Aquatic Center. There <laughs> we go, three good prizes for today. All you have to do is correctly answer a question about one of these ads. So let's look at our ads for today. Auto Tech Repair and Service. They do major engine repair. They repair brakes, transmission repair, all vehicles. Foreign and domestic, you'll find them on County Road 1354 in Vinemont. Jolly Town Rentals is where fun is always in the air. You can call Holly Mullins today to book at 256-620-JOLLY. That's 5655. They have the license inflatable slides, water slides, and more, so call them. Grand Point Pharmacy, the original home of the Old Goats product line. But they, of course, have so much more. They have allergy products available. A lot of people suffering right now. Stop by Grand Point Pharmacy. Deb's Bookstore is your hometown bookstore. She's just down the road, and she does offer, offer um, gift certificates for graduates, late Mother's Day present, Father's Day present, anything like that. And browsers are always welcome. That's at Deb's Bookstore. The Candle Garden has a new location uh, downtown right by Lone's Barbecue. Of course, you can get those hand-poured candles and lots of gift items available at the Candle Garden. Mullins Body Shop, you have counted on them for over 50 years and you can count on them today. Call Sunny, Stacy, Beth, or Jim at 256-734-1353. Fitness opportunities available at the Wellness and Aquatic Center. They have the full fitness center, weights, cardio, and professional training, indoor walking track and pool, whirlpool spa, that's at the Wellness and Aquatic Center. Brown & Company Beverages is where good taste begins. They have regional and local beers and wines, ciders, mead, mixes, and gourmet sodas. That's at Highway 157 and next to the Ford dealership, Brown & Company Beverages. 
Alabama sunrooms and awnings, sunrooms and screen rooms, patio and deck covers, awnings, metal roofs, vinyl siding, garages and buildings. Call for a free estimate or check their website, builtrightawnings.com. Cotton State Barns of Coleman you can buy or rent to own. They do carports, play sets, utility trailers and storage buildings. There is no credit check and you're approved. They're located on Highway 278 West just past I-65. It's My Party has balloons of all shapes and sizes, singing telegrams from Lulu the Gorilla, anything you need for any type of a party, stop at It's My Party. There we go with some of the merchant ads for today. Question for today is about Pizza Hut in mm -hmm. Coleman, and the question is about one of your favorite items, pasta, yes, right? it's my favorite, it's so good. Pasta at Pizza Hut, what is the cost on what is it Tuesday? Tuesday yes this is the special what is the cost of pasta what is it? it's all you can eat isn't it it's family for size family fa size okay for a certain mm -hmm. price mm -hmm. that's what we want to know what is the price two five six seven three four seven three nine nine is our phone number and let's see we have Mad Dog Mike's barbecue the free haircut from hair by Loretta and the, the Wellness and Aquatic Center so Pass much. go ahead and call in while we watch Money Matters brought to you by Premier Bank Hi, my name is Brianna Morgan. I would like to talk to you on the importance of naming a beneficiary on your IRA. This makes things a lot easier on your loved ones in the event of a tragedy. Having someone named as beneficiary eliminates any confusion on how the money is dispersed. This has been another helpful hint from Money Matters presented by Premier Bank. Okay, I think we're ready to go and give away our prize for today. Once again, the question, what is the cost of the Tuesday special of pasta at the Coleman Pizza Hut? And we have a caller, I believe. Hello, who's calling? Hey, this is Luella. Okay, and uh, what's the cost of the pasta at Pizza Hut? Well, I'm just going to guess. Okay. I know the wings are 50 cents and the buffet six forty nine, and okay. I think it's $10. You got it right. Woo! All of them right. Yeah. Way to go. Stay on the line, please. Thanks right, for thank calling you. in. Ten dollars. All you can eat pasta. Mm -hmm. yeah, it's delicious. Right. Wings fifty it's cents delicious. on Wednesday, and the lunch buffet is six forty nine mm -hmm. any Every day. day. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's look at that ad and the rest of our merchant ads right now. Starting with Hansville Drugstore, this is kind of a blast from the past. They opened in 1925 and looks almost the same as it did way back then, including the original soda fountain. And the blizzard of the month is Strawberry Shortcake at Dairy Queen, and that looks delicious. And if you miss the Strawberry Festival, don't fret because you can get the blizzard of the month at Dairy Queen. Be Fit, a new fitness facility located downtown next to Renard's Gallery on First Avenue. Pay $50 a month, no long-term contract, and a personal trainer is included. Mr. Hicks Finswear has formal wear available for all occasions, so go see him for all your formal wear needs, guys. It's located on Compass Way Southwest in Coleman. There's Mad Dog Mike's Famous Barbecue. The family barbecue pack is just $13.99 for a full pound of barbecue, two sides and four buns, and the Berlin Quick Stop. And Earl's Body Shop is celebrating 50 years in business. They do large and small towing, local or long distance. They're on Highway 31 North in Coleman, and you can visit them on the web at earlsbodyshop.com. There is Hair by Loretta. Loretta does highlights, haircuts, manicures, pedicures, and waxing. New customers get a $5 discount. Call for an appointment today in the Kalos Salon. Yates Chance Christian Bookstore, you can grab it, engrave it, and go. They, their new engraving machine engraves wood and metal products. You can personalize things for wedding anniversaries, gifts for deacons and pastors, just really for any occasion. There's Pizza Hut of Coleman. You can see the $10 family size pasta available on Tuesdays. Pizza Hut on 2nd Avenue North. Tires for Less is more than just tires. They do have Bridgestone and Firestone tires, but they also do oil changes, minor engine repairs, shocks and brakes. You can go see Greg and the guys at Tires for Less on Highway 31. There we go with the merchant ads for today. Coming up next, we're going to talk to Ann Mullins with the Better Business Bureau, so stay tuned. Don't go away. There's stuff around your house, but we don't make stuff. We make ovens. Dual fuel, double ovens, and just is something you can depend on. We only make things for one room, the best room, your kitchen. We're devoted to it, and you can feel it in everything we make. Nobody knows the kitchen like KitchenAid.
overwhelmed by home refinancing offers from telephone solicitors and direct mail advertising, and then find you're not qualified for a specific plan? The Mortgage Center, a hometown lender, compares the rates from all home loan lenders and the qualifications of the various government programs to find a plan best suited to you. The Mortgage Center helps Coleman County people purchase and refinance their homes. This is Pat Moody. Call us today and let us tailor a loan program to your specific needs and requirements. We have to be more responsive to the needs of victims within our community. And we will do this by establishing a victim service unit within the Sheriff's Office, utilizing the personnel there. This unit will also assist the victims of assault, domestic violence cases, to the needed people that they can speak to that will help them not only get self-help, but through the prosecution of their case. And I would like to ask for your vote on June 3rd in the 2014 Republican primary election. At Premier Bank, we take pride in serving our community. We respect our customers, and we've won awards for our ethical conduct. We're motivated to do all we can for you, and we're interested in your banking needs. We're efficient, safe, and sound, and our relationships with our customers are second to none. At Premier Bank, we put the customer first. While Washington liberals like Obama and Pelosi continue to attack Alabama families and values, conservative leaders like Ed Henry are fighting back, championing pro-life legislation, standing strong against Obamacare, and keeping taxes low so we can create good jobs. Ed Henry, the conservative champion we need in Montgomery. Four years ago, you voted for a change and sent conservatives like Mac Buttram to the Alabama House of Representatives. Thanks to conservative leaders like Mac Buttram, Coleman County has gone from record unemployment to one of the lowest in the state. New industries are locating in Alabama. Mac Buttram sponsored legislation that would ensure our workforce is prepared for the jobs of tomorrow. Conservatives like Mac Buttram have just started. The brightest days are yet to come. Welcome back to Today on Two. Welcome back, Ann Mullins with the Better Business Bureau. Thank you. And you have told me of a new word we're going to talk about. <laughs> a new about. word to me, too. <laughs> they keep coming out with all these weird words. Yes. We've talked about phishing before, P-H-I-S-H-I-N-G, yes. which is when you get the emails that are telling you your account's been tampered with or your eBay account or whatever, uh -huh. trying to get your personal information. Well, now we have a new word called smishing. Smishing. S-M-I-S-H-I-N-G. <laughs> now, where they come up with, I don't know. Uh, but that is when we're getting these texts that do the same thing. Uh, for example, one of them could be that it's your financial institution. It'll tell you that your account, your debit card has been frozen because of something that's happened. Okay. Uh, you may get one that says it's from your carrier of your cell phone and that you're going to get a discount because of your good paying record. Um, they could either say to uh, call a certain number right. and then when you call right. that number, they're going to ask you to put in your debit card uh, number and your PIN number so that they can reactivate your card. Mm -hmm. Or they are going to say so you can go to a certain link and then when you click on that link again they're either going to ask for your personal information uh, to give you that credit for your uh, good paying record or it could even be where they're going to download some spyware where they can actually get everything that's on your phone uh, wow I know I know Wow, and when it talks about giving you a credit you're interested exactly so you know if you get uh, as with anything else if you get and, and your bank is not going to text you to tell you something, well, again, that's happening. Right. Most likely they don't have your cell number anyway. So, And I don't know how people are getting the cell numbers other than somehow we have put them out there because they they do not sell the cell n the numbers like they do leg legal. Let me rephrase that. <laughs> Legitimate companies do not sell your cell numbers if uh -huh. they know that's what it is. But people like this will. 
So say you don't, it, sometimes it'll say uh, if you're not interested, hit no or uh, uh, remove it or whatever. Don't do anything with it as far as responding to them because mm -hmm. Even when you do, all that does is tell them, yes, this is a, I have a legitimate cell phone number, and oh. then they will sell your cell phone number to other scam artists to do the same thing to you. So, uh, wow. yeah, yeah. So that's one way so that they get it. The thing of it is, don't do any. Delete it. Delete <laughs> it, but you but forward it if you want to forward it to text seven seven two six. And that way, then your carrier knows that it's happened and they can block that number from coming to your phone. Okay, forward the text to 7726. Seven, seven, and I think in most phones that it's spam, but uh, <laughs> I mean, is it spam or scam? Uh, yeah, spam. Okay. Uh, but if it's not, it's 7726. And uh, then that would alert your cell phone carrier to that's, that was a scam and to block that, not to let you don't want that number to text you anymore. Right. Okay. Plus, they're taking up your text. If you don't have unlimited text, you know, that's really aggravating. So, usually it comes from, it looks like it's coming from your carrier, your phone mm -hmm. company, or a financial institution. Right. It'll just probably be a bunch of numbers which you don't recognize, but right. you also don't know that that's not really them. You yeah. know, if they uh -huh. had a sale number that they were texting you from, so it won't have a name on it. It'll just have... You know, yeah, what, what I have noticed in one that I get once in a while, it's a number, of course, I don't know, but then in the message, it refers to AT&T. So I thought, uh, and, and it doesn't make sense. Right. But I've got to want too. you to reply. Yeah. There is a phone number to reply to, and I never do. No. If you have a question about whether it is legitimate, look up your correct phone number of your carrier that you know that's their phone number. Call them and ask them. If it's your financial institution, call them and ask. Or, or go to their website. You type in their website and know uh -huh. that you're going to their website. And if they know that there's something going on, they will probably have that posted on their website. Watch out for this scam. This is not us. Blah, blah, blah. Yeah. Or let them know that you got that so that they can be aware that that's going on so that they can post that on their website. But when you call, you know who you're talking to. Right. So you call, you look up the number, call the correct number, and then find out about it if you have questions. Wow. They're coming at us from every direction. Every way. Every wow. way. Just blows my mind. <laughs> and thank you. Good information. Thank you. <laughs> we'll be back with more right after this. ...with the telephone when you call. However, old-fashioned doesn't mean we aren't up to date. With the latest technology, Premier Bank meets the various needs of our customers. Mobile smartphone banking, internet banking, ATMs, convenient offices. At Premier Bank, we have the right products right now with good old-fashioned customer service. At Premier Bank, we put the customer first. Life lived in black and white is not a life lived. Today, I choose color. To see it. To feel it. To be in it. To be upon it. And to live a life surrounded by it. Today, I put on a fresh coat. I believe it is an honor and a privilege to be the Sheriff of Coleman County, not a right. And as that honor and privilege, I believe it is the job of the Sheriff to serve the needs of the people. It is not the people's job to serve the needs of the Sheriff. I can make you this promise, I will lead the Sheriff's Office with honor, commitment, and integrity to every citizen of Coleman County. I would like to ask for each one of you your support and your vote on June 3rd in the 2014 primary election. Four years ago, you voted for a change and sent conservatives like Mac Buttram to the Alabama House of Representatives. Thanks to conservative leaders like Mac Buttram, Coleman County has gone from record unemployment to one of the lowest in the state. New industries are locating in Alabama. 
Mac Buttram sponsored legislation that would ensure our workforce is prepared for the jobs of tomorrow. Conservatives like Mac Buttram have just started. The brightest days are yet to come. Now it's time for our community billboards, and they're brought to you by Pepsi and Coleman Jefferson Gas. Baileyton Head Start will be taking applications for preschool services for children ages 3 to 5. Parents, you can call for an application, 256-796-2834. And the Smith Lake Park Memorial Day Festival is going to be on Saturday, May 24th from 9 a.m. to 4 p.m. There's going to be live music, um, admission is free, there will be arts and crafts and food vendors, there will be a golf cart and bike parade, prizes, there will be putt-putt golf, and a swimming pool will be open. That's on Saturday, May 24th. And there's going to be a Lady Bearcat basketball camp. Um, Coleman High is hosting a basketball camp for girls who have completed the 2nd through 8th grades. That's going to be June 2nd through the 6th from 8.30 a.m. to noon. The camp will include special guest demonstrations and breakout sessions to help players. It's $100 for one player or $75 each for each sibling. And the VFW will host a Memorial Day program in Veterans Park at Sportsman's Lake on Saturday, May 24th at 10 a.m. Those wishing to pay tribute to fallen family members or friends lost in a war or to our fallen heroes in general are invited and encouraged to come and pay their respects. The Dodge City Lions Club will host a Boston Bet and Rib Sale on Friday and Saturday, May 23rd and 24th, which is Memorial Day weekend. The sales will begin at 8 a.m. on both days until sold out. The Boston Butts are $30 and the ribs are $25. The location is beside s, &S Foods in Dodge City, and the proceeds are going to go to the Club for Lions projects. For more information, you can call Diana Pike at 256-287-1902. And if you have a community billboard you'd like to share with us, you can email it to us at channel2coleman at gmail.com. You can leave it for us by phone at 256-734-7399 or be our friend on Facebook at channel2coleman. And we'd like to wish Keith Campbell a happy birthday on this Thursday. And Keith will be registered for the chance to win our ice cream cake that we'll be drawing for tomorrow from Dairy Queen. So happy birthday, Keith. Weather forecast brought to you by Mitch Smith Chevrolet. Make the switch to Mitch. Cloudy and windy, becoming uh, sunny later on today. A high of 64, partly cloudy tonight, low of 43. More of the same tomorrow, sunny and breezy with a high of 67. And that's our program for today, brought to you by Premier Bank. Hope you have a great day.